Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rifter number nine and a half. We're going to go over the overview. We're going to look at all of the uh, all the articles, and we're going to choose two articles to focus on moving forward. And I'm going to tell you right now, this Rifter opened my eyes to the way Palladium is supposed to be played. Mm-hmm. This is this is the the guidebook. You, you you can consider this errata for the entire line. And I'm just angry at myself that I haven't read this 20 years sooner. It would have changed the way I play the game. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you right now. Well, it's funny that Heathen Dog says that because of two things. Number one, it's the only one that I have in physical copy because he's go. right. It was that much of a game changer. Uh, number two, I forgot what number two was. <laughs> so That's my mind. Uh, check, check, check that out right there. That, okay, this cover? See where it says The Rifter? And then nine and a half. Yep. Either put a border around everything or nothing. What the hell? Wayne, Wayne, I understand this is your your rendition of the Rifter, but border around everything or nothing, or I'm not allowing it to come through the QC process. (laughs) There you go. Nice. There, I said it. I feel better now. Oh, hey, uh, just so folks know, uh, talking about Palladium Books, the Christmas surprise package just opened up this week. Well, right. if you're watching this in 2024, uh, it is now October 13th, 2024. Go to the Palladium Books website and get your Christmas surprise package. $60. He puts in $100 or more worth of books. Sometimes you get goodies and so forth in there. Uh, yeah, you pay $60 plus shipping. It's the best time of year to buy multiple books from Palladium Books. Uh, go to the Palladium, Palladium-Store website and, and get your books. All right. All right. Let's start this thing off. Uh, it starts off on page six from the desk of Wayne Smith. We're not. We're not going to worry about Wayne Smith. He's. Oh, he's a, question for you. He's. He's a. He's a non-person. A non-person. Cool. Well, th- actually, that's my question for you. That? Was this nine and a half? Because you know, Rifts, uh, the Rifters had a couple of editions that were like expanded and so forth. Yeah. Is this because Wayne had a ton of entries that Kevin just didn't put in nine, so he just put them in this one? No, I. I believe. And I have I have no no proof of this, but you know I'm pretty smart and I I deduce things like Batman. So I'm I'm going <laughs> to say that that Wayne had all of all of these entries that knew would fix Palladium across the board, but but Kevin was like, no, my my IP is sacrosanct; it, it can't be changed. And then <laughs> Wayne finally like said, screw it, I'm doing this. He may have even put in his own money or he embezzled or whatever to make sure that this rifter came out so everyone knew how to play the game right. That's fair. Okay. I was just curious. There it is. There it is. And he's probably forever in the doghouse for, for fixing. Well, that's why he's got there. indentured servitude as he still works there, right? Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Could be that. Uh, coming attractions. We don't need to worry about coming attractions because this thing, again, 20 years old or more. So if if it's not out by now, it's not coming out. But the Rifter credit card, this was fantastic. You can't get this anymore. Okay. You cannot get this anymore. It's out. It's it it it, it doesn't exist anymore because it was literally too good. Visa and MasterCard, I imagine, s- tried to sue Palladium into oblivion mm. to make sure 5% that 5% cash back on all purchases. Oh, it's better than that. Before it was a thing. <laughs> it's better than that. Ooh. Every purchase you made on the Rifter credit card. Every game master who ran Palladium was obliged to give you a certain amount of experience points. Oh, so it's like that Feast of Legends thing where if you're eating at Wendy's or whatever, you got more. Yes. Real... Yes. By the way, real real thing, guys. You can check it out. It's, a, it's called Feast of Legends. I forget yeah. if there's a primary name to it, but it's a, it's a real game out there. And yes, if you're eating like pizza, you get like negative. But if you're eating at Wendy's, you get a bonus. I don't yeah, know. Exactly right. And and th- this is actually better because hey, pump gas, get XP, right? And double credit for purchases at the Palladium online store or in any select wow. uh, select Palladium location. How do we miss out on this, dude? This would have been perfect for our group because how many times did Garth thought, "Oh, let's look at the Mage game. He bought you a whole wall locker yeah, with a know, blue, right? and he gained like a billion freaking experience points from that one." Exactly. This would have been awesome. Is a thing, and everyone loves it. And this this is the ultimate bribery, and you can't get it anymore. It sucks, but you know what the the uh, the APR four and a half percent that's a damn good deal. 
Yeah. Damn good. Especially deal. back then, because nobody was doing that stuff back then. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah, man, I, I don't know what to tell you. It, it, it's something we all missed out on. We all missed out on this. And then we go to page 10 and that, oops, excuse me. That is the oh. Giga Damage, which is going to be segment two because Giga Damage is the game changer. It it completely removes all the problems you have with SDC and MDC. They, they're a thing of the past. They don't matter anymore. Every hmm. game I play moving forward is it going to be a Giga Damage game. Every game. Question it's about that. So I only yeah. do TMNT, right? Like, I don't run Mega Damage games. Okay. So I never really looked into this. Is it going to be useful for me as well? Actually, no. No. Okay. This is for Mega Damage environments only because Mega Damage environments are the only ones that have the SDC to MDC problem. Okay. If you only use SDC, well, then there's not a problem. Well, I'm glad you said that because I've had this thing sitting in my shelf since it came out and I've never used it. And that, that was my that was my opinion of it. But I haven't gone back to read it. And I would have been kind of angry. But like, no, dude, you should have been using this all along. I've... Why am I yellow now? <laughs> Why am I yellow now? The jaundice is kicked in. I guess so, man. Yellow fever. Hang on. Do I have the... Oh, my God. I have the software on, on this computer, too. That's amazing. I didn't realize that. I can stop this yellow nonsense, hopefully. <laughs> there we go. No, That's it's just better. washed out yellow nonsense. <laughs> it, whatever, man. It's better. All right. I'm 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 not looking for perfect today. I'm looking for better. That's fine. <laughs> it's all, all good. Right. And then on, on page 17, the, it says silly answers to some silly questions. These are all the, the questions that Wayne got that, that he considered dumb. And mm. rather than let dumb people be dumb, he answered the questions with dumb answers. So, dumb oh, so it's people. like the Mad Magazine did, did that. Stupid go. answers, silly answers, stupid questions. Exactly. There it is. And so that, that's what that whole set. I recommend reading it. It's it's hilarious if you're not dumb. But if it, if at any point you read an answer, go, oh, that makes sense. You're dumb. Uh -oh. The answer was for you. <laughs> then we have on page 22, uh, Heroes Unlimited and Ninja Super Spies. This is an adventure called where's wayne based off of you know where's where's, where's waldo, waldo. And i'm not going to go into it because it's an adventure i don't want to ruin it but uh you have to you have to find wayne that's the whole thing and he's he's an elusive beast this wayne elusive and then we have page 28 we have wacky powers for heroes unlimited wacky i don't know about wacky i i i think he's selling himself short he's being really humble with this one all of these powers it says right here awesome and practical they are they are if if you play a game where foibles and drawbacks are are part of the grit mm -hmm. of your game, these powers are for you. They're they're the, the powers are robust and very strong, but each of them comes with a drawback. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. So you know, are any if, of these in powers unlimited? Uh no, no. They oh. uh they were not allowed to be printed in, in any other official content. Okay. I don't know why. It's it's ridiculous. And then we go to page 31. More heroes unlimited and villains with unusual powers. The these are heroes and villains that these powers may not be for your PC for your player characters, but NPCs it adds a lot of flavor and it adds a lot of reason to why they are heroes, why they are villains. If your power is say you have the power to to suck the souls out of people and that's why you became a bad guy. It makes sense, right? I mean, a good guy wouldn't suck souls out of people, so it'd only be a bad guy. It's not something for your PCs, but it's something for your NPCs. Powers okay. are kind of like that. Then we move on to uh, another Heroes Unlimited, inspired by Century Station. The, the police department depends on its own batch of wild superhuman uh, heroes and villains. These are, are an, an expansion of the Heroes Unlimited and Villains Unlimited and Century City NPCs. Both heroes and villains. More NPCs to put into Century Station. All right. So you don't need to get the Century Station book. You don't need to get the Villains Unlimited book to have oh. more, more robust heroes and villains. You can you can just use this, and there's a dozen of them right here. And I can use a lot of those in TMNT as well, right? I oh, know the power levels yeah, are a little yeah, different, yeah. but yeah. okay. Remember, the, the uh, Heroes Unlimited is an SDC world. So yeah, yeah. it'll move into any any play to SDC thing. And then we go more Heroes Unlimited. 
Uh, these are humorous defects. This is uh, if if you want to make a somewhat silly or off the wall character or more likely NPC, you can use these. Now, th this is more like a, uh, if you want to make a Joker type character who has lots of personality flaws mm. and stuff like that. Or if, if you want to make a, a crazy hero or crazy villain. Who's oh, so you can incorporate crazies into Heroes Unlimited that way. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. There, no no holds barred on that one. Okay, absolutely cool. Not. Yeah, yeah. I mean, everything's going to have to be SDC, but that's easy enough. Easy enough. And then we have page 58 where you get more gods. The, these are gods that no one wanted to touch. No no, no one wanted to, to have a god that had flaws, which is ridiculous. They ever as, as, in, as in know, ancient Greek epic, they all had flaws. They all, yeah, they, they were all douchebags from one level to another. But these ones are are it's it's much more evident to the normal person that these gods are a little off. Why they're off, I don't know. Maybe they were alone for too long. Maybe, maybe uh, Zeus, Zeus told him that you know, Dude, they it. were screwing each other's like kids and yeah, siblings yeah, yeah. and so forth. Like, yeah. come on. You know, that that is a good point. I mean, are gods affected by incest as well? Because if they are, well, the stories <laughs> will the stories tell what's going on, right? I the mean, Habsburg of gods. <laughs> exactly. You know, d does your god have Asperger's to, you know, whatever? Then this is one of them, right? I mean, obviously, because they're like third or fourth generation inbred, according to the lore. So there you go. And now we're moving on to Rifts and Palladium Fantasy. And here's number two. These, this is a uh a couple of, of OCCs made uh, to be flavorful in impact on the game, the trickster and the ludicrous mage, the trickster, his whole thing is kind of like a, you, you can think of the OCC as I'm trying to play a, a, a demigod of mischief type thing, or you, you want to be a mortal Loki type thing. This is your deal. You know, I mean, I want to play a Kender. Well, you'll never be allowed to play a Kender. The closest thing you're going to get to is that is a trickster. Okay. And then the, the ludicrous mage is actually amazing because this, this mage can use powers and cast spells that other magic users don't understand, can't comprehend, and cannot recreate. Is you it kind of like a wild mage? Similar. Similar to a wild <laughs> mage, yes. But more 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 chaotic even than that i know there are a lot of people that wanted you to cover that one i know because it has a hundred new spells right wow I mean, i'm going to cover some spells in the in, in in the next section but uh yeah there's a whole bunch of new spells it was too much to go over i was like wow this all of these are good all of these spells are not only practical and useful but they are fun and <laughs> some of them are to be frank too overpowered to be in my game or in most people's games so I, I didn't get into that. And then we have the, my third segment, which is Crazy Akaloth's Discount Alchemy. This, okay, uh, magical items or 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 uh, techno wizard items that fill a role in your game you didn't know was empty. That's what this is. I mean, some of them are completely obvious. Like, oh my God, why wasn't that in the main book? Why wasn't that like like runic bikini armor? Why wasn't that in the main book? I mean, that's a Red Sonia campaign right there. Right? I know, right? I mean, it's 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 every Red Sonia, Conan, whatever, you know, Thundar the Barbarian type type. Campaign oh yeah, I forgot about everywhere, that. Everywhere, everywhere, and it, it it gives that ladies, come on, it gives just as much protection as plate mail armor, just as good. It's magical. It covers everywhere. You just can't see it. And it gives a bonus to those who are at least slightly above average beauty. A bonus. We're going to get into that when we get into segment three. So female privilege, as you used female to call privilege. it? Female privilege. It's still alive. Still alive, people. You can have it. And then we have the tourist OCC. This one, uh, this one is is a miss in my book. I mean, yeah, sure. The 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 o, the OC on a new OCC for riffs is is usually hit or miss, but this one I I think is is a miss. It's just too good. You oh, don't, too good. Too good. Yeah, you. Uh, it completely replaces uh every support 
OCC in the game. You don't need another one. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you don't need an operator. You don't need a uh, a wilderness scout. You don't need a uh, a, a cyber. That's doc. weird because I thought you were going to go the other way because you know Palladium likes to put in. We'll call them like sidekick OCCs yeah. sometimes, especially in Palladium Fantasy. They got those ones like the farmer or the hedge, whatever, whatever they are. I forget what they all are. Or the squire. You know, I, I was picturing it being like that, but you're saying that this is kind of misnamed because. Oh, yeah. This is the this is the jack of all trades, master of many. <laughs> that's what this is. It's not how it's so, supposed yeah. to work. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, if you introduce this in your game, your next game, everyone's going to want to be a tourist. I'm sorry. Okay. So you know, be be careful. And then we have the uh, the riff short story. And I I don't go over stories or or comics in this because what am I going to do with that? You know, I I, I can't have a segment on that. So, you read you know, it. You go, it. Go out and read it yourself. Yeah, go out and read it. Right. Go out and read it. But that is this book. And we are going to go over, like I said, we're going to go over the marvels of Giga Damage and how it's going to change your game. And then we are going to go over Crazy Akalos Discount Alchemy, which is is a, a really reductive title to the awesome things that that are are in this segment. It's absolutely, absolutely fantastic. So uh, come back later. If you're watching, stick around. If you're watching this on video, then hey, in the next couple of days, it's going to come out for you and don't miss it. All right, well, we do have a couple comments. Okay. Uh, I put so much money in my old Rift's credit card that my Hatching Dragon went from three to 23. Oh, how do you get to, That's... is there a book out there that expands levels? Because 15 is the highest I know of in Palladium. No, no, no. No, you you can go above level fifteen, but oh, okay. there, there there's no written content for it. But you you can extrapolate the uh, the table. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Plus five percent per level. You can, yeah okay yeah, yeah that yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, you can extrapolate all that if you want to do the work. That's but normally the, the the reason why you don't there's no nothing written above fifteen is because normally it takes far too much experience to actually get to not only fifteen but beyond. <laughs> Well, apparently Walter but MC bought a house. I don't know. <laughs> with the Rift's credit card, like I said, you 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 get you get multiple points. Uh, you you get a, a, a multiplier put on if you make Palladium per if you made Palladium purchases with the Rift or credit card. So it could really add up. Oh, they're saying the dragon tables are in Gods and Drag. Okay, it's in a different book. Got it. Got it. Okay. And then uh, Max Crazies were integrated into Heroes Unlimited and Powers Unlimited Two in the expanded Super Soldier section. Correct, sir. I actually covered that one. You can find that video. Uh, but I, because this book came out first, my I guess my point should have better would have been better made. It's like, oh, so there's already a concept for that because we know that a lot of things that are in the Rifters end already up happen. making their way right. into yeah, yeah in, from our today context already happen, exactly. but make yeah, their way into books. Ago. So yeah. everything's in the future when you're reading this. So cool. Um, all right, let's uh, nuke that, nuke that, and uh, go up here. Well, that's a great overview. Go ahead and uh, finish it out here if you want. All right, yeah. Uh, like like I said, stay tuned. We're going to go into Giga Damage in the next segment. And for the third segment, we are going to go into some really awesome uh, magical items and some spells as well that you can buy as scrolls and cast them at your leisure.